thoughts and con some, some concerns. First of all, I had a linkage problem. I fixed that. That was no biggie. That, that was okay. These tires do very, very well in the mud. On rough terrain, turning is great. <clears throat> On a smooth surface, turning is tough. The brakes are going to have to go to a disc brake. Absolutely, positively going to have to go to a disc brake. Um, either one here, probably one on each one. Got to put that tensioner on because um, I did have the chain come off, um, I want to say once, once or twice. That's no biggie. I've got the uh, idler or the tensioner right here. So I'll just have to fab something up in the next few days and get that thing uh, fixed to where it's going to take up the uh, tension and make sure that I've got that chain straight because I can still do some adjustments. The tires are fantastic. The motor, I got some mud and some water in the carburetor at one time and it died so I had to crank it back up. I want to say if it's really thick mud, I don't know if a 17 and a half single cylinder is going to do what I want it to do. Um, I have to say I may need to go up um, considerably, but fantastic, it's fun ride. Um, my wife came out and filmed it uh, while she was getting dinner ready for us. <coughs> so. I have no complaints. The tires are fan damn -tastic. But I do have to address the braking problem. Absolutely. And then uh, the steering problem, I'm just going to have to accept the fact that on a level surface, it steers like a boat. Um, because those tires grab like you, oh, well, you probably watched the video. I hope she got some good video on it. But I'm very, very satisfied. It is a fantastic platform to build off of. The fender flares work famously. I need them out a lot more because I'm, I'm covered and that was like one pass maybe in the mud. But I'm just rambling now. I have to say I'm very satisfied. That 17 and a half performed very well. But, and of course it may be me being used to the 16 twin. Um, because there was just all sorts of torque available to uh, just tear stuff up and it may be my fault it may be a learning curve that I'm gonna have to deal with while I've got that motor on here but for a first try pretty damn good uh, next time I will run with the air cleaner because that was my fault um, absolutely got to have a kill switch and some good brakes before I do much anything else on this thing because it did get kind of hairy one time there you go and uh, then I'll show you the skid marks. We had a oops. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Look at us on Pinterest, Tumblr, all the others. Southern Off Road Mowers on Facebook. Go to that post some junk. Y'all gonna make some mayhem. You know the kick in the butt? Through it all. Spending all that money. 150 on locking the transmission. 300 on tires and all the other stuff. The old free cup of deer has been sitting here idling for two hours. <laughs> Can't freaking beat it.